Inside Texas Politics with Jason Whiteley on WFAA. Time now for Reporters Roundtable to put the headlines in perspective. Bud Ross and Bernadine Steptoe, WFAA's political producer, is here each week. And Bud, we're starting with you this week on the Roundtable. Let's talk about the Kay Granger re-election race. Chris Putnam, her Colleyville Republican opponent in the primary, is getting a, a pretty big boost uh, with advertising. Well, he, he's getting, now he has the, cl the Club for Growth support, so they're going to put a million dollars in. Kay Granger has a structural problem in this race. You know, there's no presidential race in the primary, there's no senatorial race. She has to really carry the ballot and turn out the vote. Uh, she's used to winning based on a lot of business voters and uh, establishment Republicans. To win this primary and keep her seat, she'll have to keep women voters on her side and win Parker County, where she's got Phil King's endorsement. So she has to get the, the voters out, Ross. Can she do that? You know, I think she can. You know, a lot of people might show up to vote for Donald Trump, even though he's not in any particular trouble in the March primary. There's a couple of other names in there. There always are. And they may just be wanting to show their support. She needs to, as Bud said, get her voters out to fend off uh, kind of an unexpected run from the right. And Bernadine, you know, President Trump endorsed Congresswoman uh, Kay Granger for re-election. But is this race suddenly competitive since uh, Chris Putnam has a million dollars in ads coming? Well, I think it is definitely competitive, and it has always been since he announced that he was running. But one thing that Kay Granger has that's in her favor is the fact that Trump has endorsed her. And one thing that Trump doesn't do is lose, and he's going to get out and help her win. And, and so they're campaigning against Trump as well. And, and Bud, that, that was the original argument by Chris Putnam, is that Kay Granger isn't conservative enough. Now that she got the endorsement from Trump, it doesn't seem that's the case. Well, but he's using her passwords against her. Her passwords criticizing Trump uh, is something from 30 years ago, uh, even claiming she was pro-choice. So, you know, yeah. Obviously, she hasn't been pro-choice for decades. We'll also switch over to California versus Texas. The uh, Dallas Morning News reported, and I think some others reported, that the number of Californians moving to the state is up 36 percent. As Bud noted, we've joked about this in the past. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see some type of a, an impact in our uh, elections? Well, you know, there's always a tempting assumption to make that everybody who's moving from California is a Democratic voter, and that's really just not the case. I mean, the chances are that, you know, people moving from one place to another are moving for other reasons than politics. People moving to Texas, you know, might be drawn to a conservative state. So it's hard to tell how they're going to vote. It's clear that that many people could influence the vote and could bring in new ideas and, and knock down some old ones. Yeah, and Bernadine, we should not assume that they're all uh, Democrats moving here, but it is pretty interesting that, that it's up that much. It is very interesting, but as Ross said, we cannot assume that they're going to vote for Democrats because you have a large number of them who are conservative as well. And then politics mm -hmm. is not necessarily the reason that they're moving here. They're moving here for better yeah. housing or, or, or more affordable housing. So there are other reasons for and, it other than politics. And Bud, final word this morning. Uh, Jason, the Republicans tell me that the new voters coming here are coming from conservative precincts. They're coming from Orange County, conser conservative places, yeah. Knoxville, Tennessee, Shreveport. So th they're gonna vote conservative. Good deal, guys, we appreciate it. Thank you very much and thank you for watching as well. ABC's This Week.